hello again. Uh, one of my client's friends, organizer, uh, sent me a link, and it was uh, part of it was around "Follow Your Bliss," around um, Joseph Campbell's quote: "Follow your bliss, and the world will uh, open new doors for you," and stuff like that. And and while I've seen that happen some of the times, one of the odd things that I've noticed is people have become so deeply enculturated, which Abraham Maslow says, if you're going to go to a self-actualized state, you're going to have to resist enculturation, which basically, if you look out there, I don't see a lot of happy people. I see a lot of people living mediocre lives. And the mediocrity is what we're taught to be enculturated to expect in our lives. So you have to resist that enculturation, and you have to look past it to see uh, what is it you really want to do. What is it? But you have to go past the mind-based mechanism. You have to go out of your mind, basically. You have to go out into a little bit of insanity uh, to see what is it that when you're doing it, your life works. Now, I became a chiropractor for a few reasons. One, my dad, who was a musician, who, if I had musical talent, I think I might be a musician, uh, said if I ever had, if I had to do it all over again, I'd be a chiropractor. So that started it, and then uh, fell out of uh, favor with the medical profession when they started giving me drugs for stupid things, and it didn't make any sense to me. So I thought, wait a minute, there's got to be a different way. And then I, when I became a chiropractor, I went into an associateship, several associateships, actually five, I think. I got into one I enjoyed, and the man that I was working with left for, uh, he just, he moved away. And so I was, uh, instead of looking for another associate, if I did what chiropractors do, I opened my own office, and that's a lot of work. You know, being an entrepreneur is uh, a tough road to hoe, and, road to hoe, and it's, it's uh, not, it is mostly rewarding, especially if you like what you're doing. Now, how did I find chiropractic? Mm, kind of fell into it, uh, then fell into kinesiology and became completely enamored uh, once I met George Goodhart, the father of kinesiology, and uh, studied with him and started to realize that the body will fix a lot of things if you can get it to know that those things need fixing. And when I was with patients, I would be completely... Uh, engrossed, right? I almost didn't exist. And it was refreshing because I didn't worry about me. I didn't worry about my life. I didn't worry about the bills. Uh, I was smart enough when I became an entrepreneur to ask other people to pay other people to do things for me. But the the key was, how did I find it? And when I found self-actualization, it took one of my patients forcing me into a class called self-actualization. And when I saw this technology, I knew that this is what I came here to do. And I'm like, holy cow. Because one, when people did a class with me, they healed. They, they spontaneously healed of many things. I don't know how that works, but I do enjoy watching it happen. Uh, and one of the things was I didn't know was I didn't know how much fun I could have in practice. Once I started doing this, I started having a lot more fun in practice. I started enjoying my patients more. I started demanding more of them. <laughs> Uh, if they didn't want to have fun with me, they were no longer my patients. But there are things that you can do as an entrepreneur. And uh, if you want to have fun, it seems to be one of the elemental things that will make a major difference in your life. So, have fun. www.micpeakperformance.com